Hello everyone and a very good evening to all of you and welcome to Baijo's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for our exams. So in today's class, I will be discussing about uh, world geography, international relation plus some other topics like uh, uh, let's say we will be discussing about some awards also in the last portion of the class uh, like Nobel Prize I will be discussing then Padma Awards also will be discussing some important awards will also be discussed in the second half of the class. Uh, these are the topics from where questions have been asked. I will be giving you some previous year question also and questions uh, associated with previous year. I have tried my best. I have worked very hard to make this PPT. So I'm, uh, uh, I hope that you will also be working hard along with me to ensure good marks. Okay. So let's uh, start with <coughs> the first question of the day. Uh, it's actually a question asked in 2022 CMAT exam and uh, please answer this question, read it carefully, then answer it and after that I will be telling you some important facts associated with that. So on the left side they are saying northernmost point, they are talking about India, okay, northernmost point of India, southernmost point, easternmost point, westernmost point and they have given options Siachin, Kibithu, Sir Creek, Indra point. So what is the right answer to this question? But tomorrow we'll be having a marathon. So I will also be conducting a marathon. I mean, I will also be teaching at 1 p.m. Uh, so marathon will start tomorrow at 11 a.m. I hope you are aware. And at 1 p.m. I will be meeting you with very important session. So Kalki marathon is important. Hai. So tomorrow's marathon is very, very, very important. So please do not uh, forget to uh, miss that class. Yes. So let's talk about that. So northernmost point cones are that Siachin glacier is of course on the topmost somewhere around Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh. If you have some basic idea, okay. So if you have to do that, then the answer because they have a made option in such a way. Southernmost point is Indra point, and the one Nicobar may so B ka 4. C ka actually is um listernmost is Kibithu village, which is in Arunachal recently in news. Mr. Amit Shah, the Home Minister visited there. So Kibithu can be asked again. Then westernmost point is Sir Creek in Gujarat. In fact, it has some dispute with, I mean, uh, there's some dispute in Sir Creek with Pakistan and all. So these are the things. And a uh, one, uh, four, uh, two, three. Hai na? So one, four, two, three. So the right answer is option A. Uh, A is the right answer to this question. Uh, dekho, <clears throat> somewhere here you will find Siachin. Siachin glacier. Hai na? Okay. Sir Creek, yahan pe kahi pe milega aapko, Sir Creek, okay, which is in Gujarat of course, somewhere here where you will find Kibithu village, recently the home minister visited here, yahan pe dekho, uh, Mr. Amit Shah urges people to visit India's first village, Kibithu in Arunachal Pradesh, are you seeing, this is 13th April news, hardly even less than one month back, okay, which is India's easternmost forward post, okay, hai na, like an easternmost forward post, Yes, you can say this is his photo also. So be aware of this. Uh, the southernmost tip they are saying is Indra Point. So this is Andaman and Nicobar group of island, right? So somewhere here you will find Indra Point. Okay, the southernmost point of India. Okay, if someone is asking the southernmost point of mainland India, then the answer would be somewhere here. And that is Kanyakumari. And sometimes they do not write Kanya Kumari, they write Cape Comorin. Cape Comorin, which you will find it in the state of Tamil Nadu. Please be aware of that. Okay. So if someone is asking the southernmost point of mainland India, the answer would be Kanya Kumari or Cape Comorin. But if in general they are saying uh, the southernmost point of India, then the answer would be Indra point. Is it clear? Hopefully it is clear. And what is the capital of Andaman and Nicobar? I think it's very simple. Uh, I think somewhere here you will find Port Blair is the capital of uh, the Andaman and Nicobar group of islands. Okay? Is it clear? Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next one. The, uh, the next question to the first country to be labeled as Banana Republic was which country? Bermuda, Honduras, El Salvador, Haiti. What is the right answer to this question? Look, Banana Republic means actually the country where actually the, uh, the government is not very effective or gov governance is very poor is very poor there is uh, i mean that is uh, what we call it as banana republic uh, so which country was labeled it this was also asked in 2022 cmat yes uh, the right answer to this question is honduras b is the right answer okay 
तो हॉन्डुरास एंड कोस्टरिका वेर एक्चुअली टर्म्ड बाय अमेरिकन ऑथर ओ हेनरी एज एक्चुअली द बनाना रिपब्लिक ओके सो द राइट आंसर इज बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन यस अनमोल गोयल इज राइट वेरी गुड देखो हेर इज यू विल फाइंड इंडिया दिस इज यूएसए दिस इज मैक्सिको यहां पर आपको मिलेगा लेट मी जूम इट दिस रीजन देखो हेर इज मैक्सिको दिस वन इज हॉन्डुरास ओके एंड दिस वन इज कास्टारिका ठीक है कोस्टरिका इज फेमस फॉर आई मीन फुटबॉल टीम ऑल्सो है ना सो दीज टू वेर कंसिडर्ड एज कॉल्ड एज बनाना रिपब्लिक जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट ओके वन मोर थिंग आई वांट टू हाईलाइट इज एल सेल्वाडोर यहां पर एक और कंट्री है आई uh, थिंक यहां पे कहीं पे ठीक है अभी शो नहीं हो रहा है यहां पे समवेयर है यू विल फाइंड एल सेल्वाडोर व्हाई इट इज फेमस बिकॉज़ दिस हैज बिकम फर्स्ट कंट्री फर्स्ट नेशन टू लीगलाइज बिटकॉइन है ना बिटकॉइन एज अ लीगल टेंडर इट विल बी यूजिंग इट एज लीगल टेंडर एंड इन फैक्ट एल सेल्वाडोर इज सेटिंग अप बिटकॉइन सिटी आल्सो आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट है ना होपफुली यस द नेक्स्ट वन इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ जजेस इन आईसीजे इज हाउ मच 10 12 15 18 व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर टोटल नंबर ऑफ जजेस इन आईसीजे इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस कितने जजेस होते हैं व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर Uh, the right answer to this question is 15 judges elected for 9 years there are 15 judges their tenure one judge tenure is for 9 years okay so the right answer is uh, c is the right answer to this question yes pratyush shubham you all are right uh, this is a beautiful building peace palace building we call peace palace building okay and in this building you will find the headquarters of icj international court of justice okay c is the right answer Uh, so it is headquartered of course in the Hague Netherlands i hope you are aware of that 9 years ke liye hota hai 15 judges are there this question was asked hai na so uh, elected by un general assembly security council for 9 years and all theek hai okay uh, so there is one uh, judge from india also who is currently the icj one of the judge of icj and his name is justice dalveer bhandari uh, he is a former ex supreme court judge of india hai na ex supreme court judge and uh, he is uh, the judge there as well hai na तो एक कंट्री से एक ही हो सकता है ठीक है जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट दैट द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वेयर डू यू फाइंड द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन वेरी फेमस क्वेश्चन आज इन डिफरेंट एग्जाम न्यूयॉर्क वॉशिंगटन डीसी द हेग पेरिस व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन कहां मिलेगा आपको ओके एवरी प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस करते जाओ एटलीस्ट हंड्रेड प्लस लाइक से जाना है ठीक है एवरी वन The headquarter of United Nation, you will find it in New York. A is the right answer to this question. So here is India. This is US, and here you will find on the eastern coast, New York City, and ah, and in New York, this is a beautiful building. This building, what you are seeing, is actually called as the uh, UN uh, United Nation building. Okay. Yes. So the right answer is A. New York is the right answer. Many people have answered Parth and Mol Chenmay, Varanda Aditya. You all are right. Uh, how many organs are there of uh, in, uh, united nation 5 6 7 8 organs of united nation kitne organs hote hain guys i think it's very easy uh, so uh, we have taught a lot of times the right answer is 6 there are six principal organ we kehte hain principal organ of united nation theek okay, hai so the right answer is b is the right answer yes aman mishra aditya mahadev you all are right b is the right answer now out of 6 5 organs of united nation is headquartered in new york but one of them is not headquartered in new york what what is that one you, uh, ecosoc economic and social council trusteeship icj general assembly yes uh, united nation has six principal organ out of those five are headquartered in new york one is not in head uh, new york so which is that one अभी मैंने थोड़ा देर पहले बताया जस्ट स्टार्ट यू हार्डली फ्यू मिनट्स बैक सो यू शुड बी आंसरिंग इट दिस अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन यस शुभम शर्मा वेरी गुड अभी मैंने बताया दहेग नेदरलैंड आई हैव जस्ट टोल्ड यू है ना सो सी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन येस दिस इज इन द हेग विच इज एक्चुअली इन नेदरलैंड नॉट इन यूएसए इन वेन द कंट्री इज डिफरेंट है ना दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज वर्ल्ड कोर्ट आईसीजे इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस है ना so here you will find yes yeah we usa here you will find new york and here you will find actually the hague take another land okay yes 
सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन आई बी टेलिंग ऑल द सिक्स ठीक है छो बता दूंगा मैं हु वॉज द फर्स्ट इंडियन टू बी इलेक्टेड एज प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ यू एन जनरल असेंबली दिस क्वेश्चन इज आज इन मेनी एग्जाम्स इंदिरा गांधी विजय लक्ष्मी पंडित सरोजनी नायडो राजकुमार अमृत कौर यू एन जनरल असेंबली इज वन ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल ऑर्गन ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन द फर्स्ट इंडियन हु गॉट इलेक्टेड टू बी द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ यू एन जनरल असेंबली इज वॉट इज द राइट आंसर सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस करते हैं ना गाइज हंड्रेड प्लस ले जाओ लाइक्स सो द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज वॉट यस अमन आदित्य महाजन यू आर राइट विजय लक्ष्मी पंडित सिस्टर ऑफ जवाहरलाल नेहरू राइट तो द राइट आंसर इज बी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है यस खोदीदास आशी अनमोल प्रत्युष वानी श्रीवास्तव यू आर राइट दिस इज इन साइड यू एन जनरल असेंबली है ना लुक हाउ ब्यूटिफुल इट इज है ना ओके सो यस द फर्स्ट ये देख लेना हाँ सो विजय लक्ष्मी पंडित फ्रॉम इंडिया फर्स्ट वोमेन प्रेसिडेंट थी एंड शी वॉज द ओनली वन फ्रॉम इंडिया टिल नाउ And the first woman president of UN General Assembly was Vijay Lakshmi Pandit. Also, okay, there's a homework. Go and find out who is the current UN General Assembly president. This is a homework. Go and find out. Abhi UN General Assembly president koi nahi. Okay. Uh, the next question is question number eight. How many permanent members are there in UN Security Council? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. What is the right answer? परमानेंट मेंबर्स इन यूएन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल ये यूएन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल की फोटो है ये यूएन जनरल असेंबली देखो इसमें सारे लोग आते हैं ऑल 193 नेशंस पार्टिसिपेट दैट इज व्हाई दिस इज वेरी बिग राइट इतने सारे लोग को पार्टिसिपेट करना एंड हियर वेरी फ्यू पीपल एक्चुअली डू सिट है ना सो एक्चुअली इट इज 10 प्लस 5 है ना 15 मेंबर्स ओनली टोटल सो 5 परमानेंट है ना सो 5 आर परमानेंट पी5 एंड 10 नॉन परमानेंट मेंबर्स इलेक्टेड फॉर 2 इयर्स ठीक है तो टोटल आर एक्चुअली 15 मेंबर्स, फाइव आर परमानेंट टेन आर नॉन परमानेंट इलेक्टेड फॉर टू इयर्स एंड दिस पी फाइव इज हैविंग वीटो पावर इफ वन ऑफ द पी फाइव सेज नो नो मींस नो इट मींस द रेजोल्यूशन विल बी ब्लॉक्ड यस सो आई एम आस्किंग परमानेंट सो बी ए इज द राइट आंसर सो दीस आर फाइव परमानेंट मेंबर्स दे डोंट नीड टू फाइट इलेक्शंस एंड ऑल चाइना फ्रांस रशिया यूके यूएस यू मस्ट बी नोइंग इट एंड दीस आर द 10 नॉन परमानेंट मेंबर्स ओके इज इट क्लियर हाँ कैसा बा कोरोसी जनरल सेनी प्रेसिडेंट हाँ गुड वेरी गुड इज इट क्लियर सो देखो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द सिक्स प्रिंसिपल ऑर्गन द फर्स्ट वन इज यूएन जनरल असेंबली दिस इज द फोटो वेयर ऑल 193 मेंबर्स कैन पार्टिसिपेट दिस इज यूएन सेक्रेटेरिएट दिस इज एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव बॉडी ठीक है एंड इट्स हेड इज कॉल्ड एज यूएन सेक्रेटरी जनरल ओके एंड हु इज द यूएन सेक्रेटरी जनरल कैन एन इवन टेल मी इन द लाइफ चैट हु इज द यूएन सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ इंडिया प्लीज ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन The third one is ICJ. I have told you World Court. It is in the Hague. Na. Similarly, UN Security Council, the most powerful body is UN Security Council, comprising of P5, five permanent members plus ten non-permanent members elected for two years. Then UN ECOSOC is there and UN Trusteeship Council. So these are six principal organ of United Nation. So the head of UN Secretariat is UN Secretary General, and his name is Mr. Antonio Guterres. and is i think former prime minister of portugal is from portugal right hai na okay so please be aware of that theek hai is it clear please be aware of it theek hai this is very important aap logo ko un secretary general ka naam pata hona chahiye you all should be knowing the who is the un secretary general okay yes theek hai chalo aage chalte hain okay uh, the next one is question number 9 change in season occurs due to earth's rotation earth's revolution inclination of earth's axis What is the right answer? ये 2022 का क्वेश्चन है। Change in weather, change in season। अच्छा change in season क्यों होगा? Mostly because of what? Earth's relation with sun is getting changed, है ना? That is the main reason। सूरज के करीब आओगे दूर जाओगे उसी से ना होता है। Main तो वही होता है main idea। If you apply some logic, you have an idea that okay, if we go closer, we'll be having more heat. If we go away, we'll be having more cold or something like that. Yes. so earth's rotation does not affect much the right answer is actually b and c earth's revolution and inclination of axis would be the most uh, appropriate answer theek okay? hai so the right answer is b is the right answer to this question theek okay? hai dekho hota kya let me tell you uh, earth's revolve you understand the difference between rotation rotation is done on its own axis revolution is done around the sun so when sun revolves around the sun uh, the when the earth is here the distance is farther but when the earth is here the distance is nearer okay so of course the season will vary depending upon wherever we are the first thing and so revolution impacts 
The second is inclination of earth six or what we call it as tilt of axis. Now, how does tilt of axis impacts uh, weather or, or a season? Okay, I hope you are aware of this. There you go. This is summer solstice happens in 21st June. When the earth, I mean, uh, then the northern hemisphere, uh, let me make it with red pen so that you can understand. This is northern hemisphere, right? So, the sun coming in the northern hemisphere, the sunlight in the northern hemisphere, we are having a lot of heat in 21st June, right? And I hope you are aware 21st June, that is why it is the longest day in northern hemisphere and that is why we celebrate International Day of Yoga, International Yoga Day on this date, the longest day on uh, actually the northern hemisphere. Now, if you see, uh, this is called a summer solstice, but in winter, the things get opposite, right? On the southern hemisphere, this one will be the southern hemisphere, there is heat. And that is why we say that in Australia, in December, they celebrate Christmas with, there is no, I mean, cold Christmas. The Christmas is actually summer in New Zealand and Australia. I hope you are aware of that. Yes, why? Because yes, the southern, uh, actually, hemisphere is hot in these days. So the tilt of axis, since because the earth is tilted slightly, that is why the season gets impacted. Is it clear? I hope it's very simple, crystal clear. So these two are the correct answer. The right answer is B. B and C is the right answer. Guys, no one will explain it. Nowhere in books you will find it in such a lucid explanation which I have given. Okay? So I hope if these questions will come, you will be able to answer it. Right? Okay. Uh, the next one is question number 10. Ha, isko summer solstice kehte hai ye wala. It is actually given in the name of summer. Here it is given the, with respect to northern hemisphere. Here winter concept is given with respect to northern hemisphere. Because in summer, uh, uh, in southern hemisphere, the things get reversed. Okay? Is it clear? Anna? So, our isko equinox get when it's spring, like in September, in March. Equinox means equal day and equal night. Anna? So, in spring season, we are having equal day and equal night in autumn also. But in summer, we are days are longer and nights are smaller. And in winter, the opposite happens. We are talking about northern hemisphere. Anna? In 22nd December in India, we have a very small day and a long night. Anna? So, these are because of these things. Yes? Okay. Uh, the next one is question number 10. The Chabahar port being developed by India to gain access to Central Asia is located in which of the following countries? Iraq, Iran, Oman, Saudi Arabia. What is the right answer? The equinox is equal night. Hai na? Basically, it means equal day and equal night. So, 12 hours night, 12 hours day. Hai na? But here in summer, in Northern Hemisphere, we are having more, maybe 17, 18 hours day and 6, 7 hours night. And here it is the reverse. So, these two are equal day and equal night. Hota? And here day is longer and here night is longer. I am talking in respect of northern hemisphere. Yes. So here the right answer is Iran. B is the right answer to this question. So basically it is talking about Central Asia. Okay, let me explain. So this is India. This region is called as Central Asia. Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan. These are. Okay. Now if we want to go in these regions, uh, the best way is actually from Mumbai we can go here with the help of ship from where actually uh, Afghanistan and like that. We can easily avoid Pakistan. That is why this Chabahar port has been developed by India. Okay. So from Chabahar, you will get Zahedan. From here, you can go to Zaranj. There is a Zaranj Delaram Highway. From here to Afghanistan. Zaranj Delaram Highway. From where you can go to Afghanistan. And from where you can go to Central Asia. So this region is Central Asia. Okay. We can gain access to Central Asia through this route. Okay, by avoiding Pakistan. Okay, which of the following is not a member of SARC? These are very famous questions. I have taught many times. Please remember all the members of SARC and all the members of BEMSTEC. This is being asked in many exams. So, is there no SARC member? Nahi hai? Bataiye. What is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is Myanmar is not a member of SARC. So, I have told MBBS Spain. This is the short form. Now, I have told you that M is not a So, it is better to remember by maps. Hai. First of all, where is the headquarter of SARC or Secretariat? Kathmandu, Nepal. Okay, yes. Now, how to remember? There go. This is the map. You can follow this map. Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, and here is Maldives. These are eight. If you remember like this, it is very easy. 
दीज आर एट मेंबर्स ऑफ सार्क ठीक है वेर इज द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ सार्क काठमांडू नेपाल ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट बेमस्टेक बिकॉज इट ऑल्सो कम्स इन द न्यूज Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. Where is the headquarter? Headquarter is in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Now, how to remember? So, this is uh, actually you are supposed to remember like this: India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Thailand. Seven nations. Okay, so these seven are BIMSTEC members. Now, how to remember together both SARC and BIMSTEC? It is very easy. If you have learned SARC, these are eight SARC members. अगर आपने SARC याद कर लिया, इसमें कुछ नहीं करना है. So see the red pen carefully. Just cut Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Maldives here. Add Myanmar and Thailand. You have removed removed three and added two, so it becomes seven. So this red one, which I am showing, is actually the BIMSTEC member. Is it clear? so in sarc if you subtract three countries and add two it becomes bimstack so i am showing map because it will help you remember in a very easy way so red ones are sarc and bimstack seven nations and blue one is sarc okay is it clear please try to remember they have asked many times in many exam ieft zat uh, cmat uh, i have seen in many places questions from here are being asked okay uh, the next is consider the following statement regarding ocean currents the heat fishing ground i think fishing ground hoga ji the fishing ground of the world exit mainly in uh, uh exhibit mainly in the region hoga i don't know why question has some issues exhibit mainly in the mixing of warm and cold uh, current gravity is one of the factor in fencing ocean currents identify the correct statement what is the right answer batao kya sahi jawab hai See why I am discussing previous year question because previous year question I will be explaining those topics and around it so that you can understand the ocean currents. So like for example, they have given ocean currents, so they can ask questions associated with ocean currents. Yes, the right answer is actually uh, both are correct. C B is the right answer. Okay, Aditi is right. B is the right answer to this question. Look, I'll tell you. Look, first of all, see this is actually. Uh, let me remove myself. This is the. डायग्राम ऑफ ओशन करेंट नो प्लीज बी केयरफुल हेयर वॉट आई एम मेकिंग इट हेयर ठीक है सबसे पहले बीच में इक्वेटर होता है तो पता होगा एवरी वन द रेड वन आई एम मेकिंग इज इक्वेटर ओके द ओशन करेंट विच गोज अवे फ्रॉम इक्वेटर विच गोज अवे फ्रॉम इक्वेटर आर वॉर्म करेंट हॉट करेंट ठीक है ओके दो ओशन करेंट विच आर ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम इक्वेटर एंड गोइंग अवे आर वॉर्म करेंट एंड द रिवर्स डायरेक्शन The ocean currents which are coming from poles are actually cold current. It has to be very much crystal clear. ये एकदम clear होना चाहिए, ठीक है? अब आप देखो गौर से. The red ones, if you are seeing, uh, the red ones, these are the red ones. They are Gulf Stream. They are going away from equator, है ना? Going away, going away, है ना? Okay, from equator. And those who are coming from poles, Labrador, East Green, Canary, Venezuela, Peru, Humboldt, California, West Australia, Oasho currents. These are actually the blue ones are. cold current because they are coming from pole towards equator that has to be very much crystal clear now uh, one more thing you should be knowing is ki the first question was ki we find fishing grounds where hot and warm current mix yes that's correct for example if you are seeing it here the labrador current is meeting gulf stream so wherever the warm current and cold current meets it is the best place for a fishing ground on the eastern coast of canada nova scotia ke paas Similarly, Oyasho current is meeting Kuroshio current here. This is the best ground for fishing. So, जहाँ पर cold और warm current मिलता है, the place where cold and warm current meets, it is the best place for a fishing ground. You must be knowing it. This is what they are actually telling you. ठीक है, ये सही है. A gravity is one of the factor influencing ocean currents. Yes. इसको counter करना बहुत difficult है. If you do not know it, ना, you cannot say कि नहीं नहीं है. I'll tell you uh, the answer. Best answer is counter equatorial current. Is the best example of that. What is counter equatorial current? Let me explain. Look. If you see it carefully, it's not clearly made. But uh, okay, uh, let me show you. Here is north equatorial current going. Here is south equatorial current going. And so, here it comes. North equatorial, and it goes. It meets the here is Brazil, and it comes back. Why? Because here the water is jammed. It comes from here. 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 It comes
So here the water is gets accumulated and it goes in the counter direction. And that's called as counter equatorial current. So why it flows? Because of gravity effect. If a lot of water is getting stored, of course it will hit back. So that is because of gravity effect. And the best example is counter equatorial current. So both are actually correct. So B is the right answer to this question. Okay? Now, some more facts about currents. I'll be telling you the first I have told you about warm currents. Uh, the second thing I'll be telling is jo cold current ki bagal mein zameen hoti hai, wo ha pe desert hota hai always. In 99% cases, the cold current produces desiccating effect. Just here is canary. The blue one is a cold current. Here you will find Sahara Desert. Okay. One of the reason is this. Here Benjola current, you will find Namib desert, the oldest desert of the world. Here you will find Peru desert, here is Atacama desert, the driest place of the world. Atacama desert, which is actually in Peru. Hana? California, pe aapko, you will find in Mexico, Sonoran, Mojave desert, a lot of desert. In West Australia, you will find a lot of desert. West Australia mein desert hai. Right? So around, just near to, uh, uh, I mean cold current, whenever there is a land, you will find de uh, actually desert. And that is why it says that cold ocean current creates desiccating effect. Desiccating effect means it causes uh, it causes deserting uh, desert-like situation. Okay, so you should be knowing it. Okay, yes. So we are done with B. Okay. Uh, the next is which of the following states divide Morocco and Spain? You won't believe this was asked in IAFT also. I will show you in a slightly different fashion. So I have told you, they actually copy questions, previous year questions from different places. And I'll show you just now. Well, let's answer without. Guys, everyone, please press the like button. Sabko like button, press karte jana. Everyone. Yes, the right answer is state of Gibraltar. A is the right answer to this question. A is the right answer to this question. Here is Morocco. That's called as Strait of Gibraltar. Strait of Gibraltar. Okay, and it is correcting Mediterranean Sea with Atlantic Ocean. Let me show you. So this one is called as Atlantic Ocean. Okay. And this one will be called as Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea. This one. Okay. Yes. And the Mediterranean Sea here. here is Atlantic Ocean. This is Spain. This is Morocco. So this place is Strait of Gibraltar. And the Location around it is controlled by UK. You won't believe, but yes, this is Strait of Gibraltar is controlled by UK. Strait of Gibraltar. Okay. Now see this question. This is a question of IFT. They asked in a slightly different way. They ask if Mediterranean Sea and Atlantic is connected by which strait? Okay. Okay. Yes. So they asked in a different way, and now they asked in this way. If Morocco and Spain is actually uh, connected by which? So both are same thing, eh, na? So, uh, in IFT, they ask Atlantic, Atlantic and Mediterranean is connected by what? So, Gibraltar. And in actually this CMAT, they asked Spain and Morocco is divided by whom? Against Gibraltar. Okay. Yes, I will be explaining. Okay, uh, let's start uh, talk, talk about this. Uh, Here is this one is Red Sea. This is India, this is Red Sea. And this is Mediterranean Sea. It is connected by this one that's called as Swiss Canal. Okay. Okay. Now, this is Red Sea. Red Sea this one. This one is Arabian Sea. It is connected by Bab al Mandab, Strait of Bab al Mandab. Okay. Just have an idea. Now, it is also very much in the news. Uh, abhi aapne dekha hai, are you aware of Operation Kaveri? There was Sudan hai nahi, Port Sudan. So in Sudan, actually civil war is happening. I hope you are aware. The RSF, RSF is the paramilitary force and military is fighting each other. So that is why Indians were brought back from here. So from Port Sudan actually, and the ships, uh, with the help of ships, actually were brought. Hai na? So here is the Red Sea. Okay, just have an idea about that. Yes. Now, Strait of Dardanelles and Strait of Bosphorus connects which to water body? Ye batao. Sab koi like button press karte jana, guys. Everyone. 
सबको हंड्रेड प्लस लाइक्स ले जाना यस गाइज दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट्स आई एम बेकिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द सी मैट प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन ओनली सो आई वर्क वेरी हार्ड फॉर दैट यस द राइट आंसर इज इट कनेक्ट ब्लैक सी एंड मेडिटेरियन सी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन यस हाँ ओके देखो मैं ये बता दिखा देता हूँ एर इज इंडिया दिस इज मेडिटेरियन सी दिस इज ब्लैक सी ठीक है ओके लेट मी जूम इट फर्दर ये मेडिटेरियन सी है दिस इज ब्लैक सी हेयर आर एक्चुअली द टू स्टेट्स ठीक है ओके लेट मी जूम इट फर्दर हेयर इज मेडिटेरियन सी हेयर इज ब्लैक सी दिस इज टॉकी है ना दिस इज स्टेट ऑफ बॉस्फोरस जो इस्तांबुल में पड़ता है बॉस्फोरस स्टेट and this one is dardanelles theek hai state of dardanelles this is very famous bosphorus state ko bahut famous mana jata hai because istanbul is a very beautiful city uh, and uh, the key famous and all so that is why bosphorus state yaad rakhna bosphorus state okay and to regulate bosphorus state there is a convention called as montreux convention it was specially in the news regarding uh, when actually uh, russia ukraine war was happening hai na so here is ukraine here is russia So that is why this thing was very much in the news. Uh, Istanbul state we can say that. Okay, the next is which of the following canals connect Atlantic and Pacific? Look, I have just told you Swiss canal is connecting Red Sea and Mediterranean Sea. Bataya, just told you Mediterranean Sea. Okay. So the right answer here is what is the right answer? Uh, Atlantic and Pacific is connected by Panama Canal. So B is the right answer to this question. Okay, let me show you. Here is India. This is USA. This is Atlantic, and this is Pacific. ठीक है? और देखो अब मालूम आप यहाँ से आ रहे हो. You are coming from US, UK, है ना? या यहाँ से. And if you want to go on the western coast, you have to go like this. नीचे सोके जाना पड़ेगा. So now there is a jugar, a shortcut. You can go like this, है ना? So this here you will find Panama Canal. Panama Canal, ठीक है? It's quite interesting if you get a chance to see Panama Canal. Here is Panama country. यहाँ पे पनामा के नाम अटलांटिक पैसेफिक ओके इट इज गेटिंग कनेक्टेड सो द राइट आंसर इज बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन यस खोदीदास आयुषी वानी जॉन टी पार्था यू वाला राइट सो इस कनार कनेक्ट विच टू वाटर बॉडी आई हैव जस्ट टोल्ड यू प्लीज आंसर इट वेरी फास्ट अभी मैंने बताया इट कनेक्ट एक्चुअली द रेड सी एंड मेरेटेरियन सी सो इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है अभी मैंने बताया ओके सो दिस इज This is Red Sea. This is Mediterranean Sea. This is Arabian Sea. ठीक है? This one is Suez Canal. It is artificially built. God built in 1869, है ना? ये वाला है बाबल मंदब. अभी मैंने बताया है बाबल मंदब. क्या ना? बाबल मंदब state. ठीक है? So here the right answer is A. Many people are answering it. है ना? ये Red Sea है. ये Mediterranean Sea. यहाँ पर Cairo है. This is the capital of Egypt. And here you will find this. ठीक है? Uh, yeah, two years back it was very much in the news. I hope uh, a ship called Ever Green got blocked and all. आपको याद होगा ये फंस गया था बीच में and because of which था many actually एक काफी ज़्यादा नुकसान हो गया lot of thousands of rupee है ना. Malacca Strait. This is very much in the news. Very one of the most busiest and key routes. वैसे माना जाता है Malacca Strait. Red Sea, Mediterranean Sea, Indian Ocean, Red Sea, in Arabian Sea, Red Sea, South China Sea, Indian Ocean. What is the right answer? बताओ. Malacca Strait connects which two water body? So Indian Ocean or Red Sea, Arabian Sea or Red Sea को तो बाब अल मंदब connect करता है अभी मैंने बताया बाब अल मंदब, yes. Red Sea और Mediterranean Sea को Suez Canal connect करता है. South China Sea कह सकते हो? हाँ. And Indian Ocean, the right answer is D. Ah, oh, very good. A lot of people are answering. Okay. Yeah, but Arabian Sea. This is Bay of Bengal. This is in, uh, India. This is Indian Ocean. Okay. This is South China Sea. Okay. Here you will find Malacca Strait. Very, very, very important. Malacca Strait. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but look up. This is the reason zoom kar rahe hain. So, look. If the ship from uh, let's say Korea, Japan, and China is coming from here. The shortest way to reach India and Iran, Saudi Arabia, this region is through this. ठीक है ये shortest route है, okay? So और यही पे आपको मिलेगा. That is why Singapore is very famous, है ना? यहाँ से जो आ रहा है ना, this is. That is why Singapore is here. It is very famous because from here actually Malacca Strait is there. ठीक है? So you should be knowing it. ऐसे from here the ship goes like this. 
and it is said that almost one lakh shake passes through in one year or something like that. Okay, so Malakka state, remember it. Okay, okay. Now let's talk about some more famous state. I have told you all. But let me revise it fast. Here is India. This one is state of Gibraltar. Okay, this one there are two Dardanelles and Bosphorus. Okay. Here I have told you Bab al Mandab. Bab al Mandab. Okay. This one is Malacca state. I have told you. Okay. Recently, I think in IFT or somewhere, this was asked. Bering state. B E R I N. Bering state. Because Bering Sea is there. Okay. I Let me explain. Uh, first of all, let me tell you this. India hai. Saudi Arab, Iran. This one is Persian Gulf. This water body is called as Persian Gulf. So, Persian Gulf connecting Arabian Sea. Ye wala, isko kya kate hai? Strait of Hormuz. Okay, yes. Okay, ye wala mene bata diye Bab al-Mandab. I have just told you. Bab al-Mandab. Okay, yes. Now, this one. Here is India. This is Russia. This is Canada. This is USA. Ye hai Pacific. Okay. Ye wala jane, this one. This is called as Bering Strait. This was asked in some exam recently. Bering Strait. Because there is a Bering Sea. ठीक है और ये वाले लाइन जो है ना इसको कहते हैं इंटरनेशनल डेट लाइन कभी-कभी ये पूछते हैं इंटरनेशनल डेट लाइन डेट लाइन दैट व्हिच फ्रॉम व्हिच स्ट्रेट इंटरनेशनल डेट लाइन पासेस सो द आंसर इज बेरिंग स्ट्रेट और बेरिंग सी ठीक है ओके जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया ठीक है याद रहेगा व्हिच कंट्रीज ओल्ड नेम इज पर्शिया इराक ईरान कुवैत कतर व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर बताओ जल्दी जल्दी आंसर करो I am discussing guys very important one questions. Okay. Which country's old name is Persia? Iraq, Iran, Kuwait, Qatar. Yes, the right answer is B. Iran is the right answer to this question. Which country's old name is Mesopotamia? Now this can also be asked. Old name Mesopotamia. Iraq, Iran, Kuwait, Qatar. What is the right answer? Mesopotamian, Mesopotamian civilization is very famous in ancient history. Yes, the right answer is, uh, the right answer is Iraq A is the right answer. Okay. So, Persia old name for Iran. Ka. Okay. They go. Let me show, tell you. Here is India. This is Iran. Old name is Persia. And that is why there is a language called as Persian, Farsi language. Have, have you heard about Persian language? Again from here. Yaan se ek religion bhi nikla hai, Zoroastrian religion. Zoroastrian religion. A people belonging to this are called as Parsis. Parsi people like uh, Ratan Tata and all, right? So, this is Zoroastrian religion came from here. Parsi, Persian, Persian language, Farsi, Persia, all are from Iran. Okay? Iraq is famous for Mesopotamian civilization. Mesopotamian civilization, right? I hope you are aware here, Euphrates River comes like this, then Tigris River comes like this. Euphrates and Tigris. These are two very famous rivers in uh, Iraq and Mesopotamian civilization is because of that. Right? You must be aware of it. Tigris River, you will find Baghdad, city of Baghdad on Tigris River. Okay? Yes, just have an idea about it. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, the longest circle which can be drawn on Earth's surface is equator, Tropic of Cancer, Arctic Circle, Tropic of Capricorn. What is the right answer? Yes, what is the answer? The longest circle which can be drawn on Earth's surface. Guys, tomorrow from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. we will be having marathon series. I hope you are aware. Thikhe? At 1 p.m. I will be meeting you. And tomorrow's session is also very, very important. So, do not forget to join that. Thikhe? Yes. Uh, the right answer is the longest circle which can be drawn on Earth's surface is actually very easy equator. A is the right answer. Yes, many people are right. Good. Dekho, aisa kuch hota hai latitudes. Hai na? This is latitudes. ये वाला जो ऐसे हॉरिजॉन्टल होता है लैटिट्यूड्स होता है सो ऑफ कोर्स अगर ये वाला सबसे लंबा होगा सर्कल है तो बीच वाला सबसे लंबा होगा अगर आप ये से काटोगे तो छोटा रहेगा अब सेम है इसको काटोगे तो बीच से काटोगे तब ना सबसे बड़ा वाला सर्कल बनेगा आई मीन दिस इज अ कॉमन सेंस आई मीन आई डोंट नीड टू एक्सप्लेन है ना एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड्स आर लाइक दैट है ना तो लैटिट्यूड्स आर पैरेलल्स ऑल आर पैरेलल्स बट लॉन्गिट्यूड्स एक्चुअली मीट एट दिस नॉर्थ एंड साउथ पोल ना uh, the next is through how many states Tropic of Cancer passes through in India? 7, 8, 9, 10. Tropic of Cancer passes through India through how many states? 
गाइस हंड्रेड प्लस लाइक्स ले जाओ एवरीवन यस प्रेस द लाइक बटन ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर से थ्रू हाउ मेनी स्टेट्स ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर पास थ्रू इंडिया अब इसमें कल नहीं हो पाया था बट हाँ आज होगा और कल भी होगा आने वाले कल में 11 ए एम टू सेवन पी एम विल बी हैविंग मैराथन ठीक है सेशन एट आवर्स इसमें 1 पी पर एट 1 पी एम आई विल बी मीटिंग यू आई विल बी मीटिंग यू सो जी के सेशन वुड बी देयर ठीक है इज इट क्लियर सो डू फॉलो इट नीचे सब्सक्राइब कर लेना चैनल को यस द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज द राइट आंसर इज इट इज द राइट आंसर अच्छा एक चीज और अनाउंस करना है गाइस देखो आप अपने कमेंट्स में देखोगे एक पिंड कमेंट है आर यू सींग द पिंड कमेंट ठीक है उसमें लिखा हुआ है जाकर के सीमैट 2023 ट्वेंटी किट ओके यस क्लिक ऑन दैट सीमैट 2023 किट उस पर क्लिक करो जाके और कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन आपको मिलेगी जो भी चीज आपको डालना होगा प्लीज पोर्ट है ना इसको एक बार देख लेना ये वाला लिंक श्योरली ठीक है देखो पिंड कमेंट में नजर आ रहा है यू आर सींग दैट है ना सीमैट किट है ना सो ओके लेट मी शो यू ऑल दो एट स्टेट दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो द फर्स्ट वन इज गुजरात राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ आई एम राइटिंग सी गढ़ लाइक इन शॉर्ट ठीक है देन झारखंड देन वेस्ट बंगाल ठीक है देन त्रिपुरा देन मिजोरम लाइक है ना सो दीज आर द स्टेट एट स्टेट थ्रू विच एक्चुअली ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर पासिस और ये वाला है इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम पे आई एस टी विच इज साढ़े बिरासी डिग्री एटी टू डिग्री एंड हाफ ईस्ट विच पास इज नियर समेर यू कैन से नैनी है ना नियर इलाहाबाद और प्रयागराज यू कैन से है ना दैट इज इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम and if someone is asking this indian standard time is how much ahead 82 degree and half east it is 5 hours 30 minute plus plus me plus gmt hai na it means if in green which mean time uh, it is 12 pm in india will be having 5:30 pm yes 5:30 we add okay okay so the right answer is uh, b is the right answer to this question theek hai okay ha ah. so i hope you are aware of this and so this is this line is tropic of cancer this one is tropic of capricorn and this one is equator theek hai so this region is called as tropical region and all so india lies in tropical region and tropic of cancer passes through india also theek hai okay yes now let's talk about this one kuch aur cheeze jaan lete hain uh, awards dekho books and authors to kal padhenge but uh, some sports i will be discussing in awards theek okay? hai books and authors will discuss tomorrow theek okay? hai uh, now the term butterfly is associated with kabaddi boxing swimming wrestling what is the right answer dekho isko aisa karte hain na ki we will be discussing this in uh, tomorrow class in a more effective way theek okay? hai isko main rehne deta hu because uh, this is a new topic we are starting so okay one more thing you have to be very much crystal clear है ना देखो दिस इज अट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एट आवर्स नॉन स्टॉप मैराथन टूमारो ठीक है नाउ सो दिस विल बी फ्रॉम इलेवन एम टू सेवन पी एम ओके एट वन पी एम आई विल बी मीटिंग यू विद जी के सेशन तो इसमें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग लाइक स्पोर्ट्स का बचा रह गया है ना बुक्स एंड ऑथर्स बचा रह गया ओके बुक्स एंड ऑथर्स आर लेफ्ट एंड सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पॉलिटी एंड हिस्ट्री वुड बी देयर ठीक है तो मैं कोशिश करूंगा मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स कवर हो जाए ये थोड़ा लंबा चलेगा मतलब ये तो 40-45 मिनट का होता है ना बट दिस सेशन विल बी मे बी वन एंड हाफ टू टू आवर्स लॉन्ग मेरा वाला बट इन टोटल इट विल बी एट आवर्स लॉन्ग ठीक है याद रखना 11 एम टू 7 पी आई विल बी मीटिंग यू एट वन पी ओके यस वन मोर थिंग गाइज एक चीज और बताना है uh, देखो पिंड कमेंट में प्लीज बी केयरफुल पिंड कमेंट में देर इज अट किट सी मैट ट्वेंटी किट आर यू सींग इट प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द किट एंड अवेल वॉट एवर इज रिक्वायर्ड आई मीन उस पर जाओ उस पर क्लिक करो एंड वॉट एवर इज रिटर्न देयर एंड इफ दे आर आसिंग सम इन्फॉर्मेशन प्लीज गिव दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड ऑल वॉट एवर इज रिक्वायर्ड ठीक है सो सी मैट किट जो पिंड कमेंट में है प्लीज क्लिक ऑन दैट है ना एंड मूव थ्रू इट ठीक है जो भी आपको इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको पूछा जा रहा है उसमें डाल देना ठीक है आई विल बी मीटिंग यू टूमारो एट वन पी एम प्लीज प्लीज डू फॉलो मी दैट वुड बी वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन ठीक है so thank you everyone uh, thanks for watching please do follow or whatever i have discussed it in today's class it was also very very important thanks for watching please press the like button share this video and subscribe to our channel
Thanks for watching.